In Joffreville, a small town in Deigo Suarez, 32 kilometers from Madagascar's capital, Antananarivo, cat fields have sprung up everywhere. Many farmers here have abandoned their vegetable farms and rice paddies to make way for cat, a move that has raised concern in the region. The farmers have decided to stop farming vegetables and they are now all planting cat because it brings in more money than planting vegetables. Cat, also known as mirai, is a flowering plant native to East Africa. It contains cathinone, which makes it a popular form of stimulant and moderately addictive. Joffreville has around 5,000 residents and an estimated 70% of them consume cat. I can now send my children to a better school, a private school, and I can also afford to buy nice things for my house. Today, the town produces around 30% of the cat that is consumed in the region of Diego Suarez. Local authorities say the plant's quick turnover is one of the reasons farmers grow it over other crops. Demand is high, and so are the returns. There were no cat farms before, and farmers could farm up to 10 tons of rice. But now, they're planting cat. Those same farmers today cannot even produce 2 tons of rice because there isn't enough water. But cat farming is slowly contributing to the decline of agriculture in the region, observers say. The crisis has also been compounded by the fact that cat production requires a huge amount of water, leading to a shortage for use in food farms. Around four tons of cat are sold daily throughout Diego Suarez City, the hub of the peninsula. With high levels of unemployment and poverty, chewing cat has become a part of life here. We talk and exchange ideas. Sometimes we can go on for hours. Malagasy authorities recently announced plans to put in place measures to curb the production of cat because of its negative effects. But analysts say the cash-strapped government is too busy trying to rebuild its economy to put in place any effective policies anytime soon. Mahia Mutua, CCTV.